guys, and welcome back to a new episode of Tomb Raider 2013 for the PlayStation 5 or PS4, or whatever you want to do it. Definition edition. Last episode, we started the game. This episode, we continued through the game, obviously. We made it to the first campfire and everything, which we can't, I guess we can't west at, at it yet. But anyway, in this episode, we'll probably go hunt a deer. Doe, a deer, a female deer. Right. <laughs> oh god. Why was he? No, there's a deer! There's a doe! Come back here, doe! Probably a doe. Oh god. What's going on here? Wait. I can use that bow. Let's get the bow. The best weapon in the game right here. Better than the dual pistols. Oh! <laughs> I can trigger so many people for saying that! I can trigger so many people for saying that! <laughs> No, I'm joking. <laughs> Better than adult pistols. <laughs> I can do this. Uh, you can tell my opinion. You can tell my how I have some how my I have a minority opinion about the Tomb Raider series. I'm gonna like make so fun. I'm gonna make just so fun of all the classic Tomb Raider fans in this game. I'm, I'm not probably what I'm gonna do like throughout the series. Just make fun of all the original OG people. <laughs> That just that don't that hate these games for some reason. That think this woman looks like a man for some reason. Yeah, there's pan there's pan that people think this woman looks like a man. I don't know why, but I don't see it at all. Same thing same thing with the was it? Aloy from Same thing with Aloy from Hawaiian Zero Dawn. Apparently there's some people out there that think Aloy and in the was it Forbidden West and somehow the new Tomb Raider looks like a man, I don't, I don't see it at all. Like they're just, they're just. I don't. It's, it's a weird thing. It's a weird, it's a really weird thing. All right, let's. But anyway, we got a bow, baby. We can zoom in too and shoot. You can see we got seven bows. So we're probably not gonna use it any, any yet. We don't have to shoot anything yet. But which way do we go? We go this way. Or we go the other way. Anyway, I'm just gonna go this. I'm gonna go this way anyway. But also, also, there's also stuff hiding. Also, we can like find different treasure all around too. But so I'm gonna find the bow. Also, you can see there's this, where, which we we need to. Use, you can see this is part of the rope and everything, which we can use with a bow. But we can't use it now though. But look, look right there. And sh oh shoot! It sees us. It sees us, man. Come on. Which okay. Way to follow the deer. Be quiet. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Ah, oh, come on! Come on. It's a come on, dear. Come on, dear. Be more quiet. Maybe more quiet. Oh, there's two. There's two of them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get this one. Bam! Ah, oh, man, it's winning! There you go. Just kill it. <laughs> there you go. I was trying to do it really good, but I just kill it that way. Poor dear. Sorry. Thumbnail. I don't know, maybe. Her first kill out of the thousands. <laughs> well, her first animal kill, not her first human kill. We can go to camp. All three got survival instincts. To bet we can't, you know, pick it up yet. Get some more room. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Do we kill the deer? Or not. <laughs> oh boy, oh there it is. Come on! Oh, oh no! Fuck, we ran out. Damn it! It's healing though! It's limping! <laughs> There's a rabbit! Look at all these deer. Running around. We can go this way. Whee! There we go, 
a, a bit away, I think, around here. Yep. Back to the camp. Is it, I think this is the correct way? Pretty sure it is. Yep. Or it is the camp over here. We got, we got. Let's go. We can also, we got skills. Spend skill points in the skill menu to upgrade abilities. Ooh. And we got survival. Allows you to spot hard and food sources. We got earn extra rewards. Food and ammo courses and food. Ooh. So let's, get, let's get this one. Do animals, man, for extra experience. But this is the sub basically this is kind of the survival thing area. We can ammo instincts. Plus L1 to activate instincts. But if we leave it, we can see we got different we got survival upgrades and we got hunter upgrades. So we can like can see what upgrades we have. Requires a skill point obviously. The more we go, we get the more we do. Focus on our mind. We don't really need any of that yet. But we also we also that's all we can do right now. Though. This is Conrad Roth. Captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Ross! Lara! You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach. And then it went black and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Keep moving, Noah. Keep moving forward. That's Disney quote, isn't it? Like, keep moving forward. That I had from Meet the Robinsons. If you ever seen that movie, I think that's the whole point of the movie is just keep moving forward. That was, I guess, that's a quote that I guess Easy. Walt Disney always said all the time. So, like, well, that was the whole point of that movie. <laughs> I guess just keep moving forward. Do not go back. Yes, the past can hurt, but everyone, <laughs> Lion King reference stuff <laughs> and everything. Well, can we shoot more deer? Can we shoot more deer? Any more deer around? Or oh, we can shoot a rabbit too. To do this. Oh, we just continue forward. Let's just continue forward. Ooh, it's mystery time. We got a torch. This could be a way through. Damn it. Well, I guess there's no way else to get down here. <laughs> we had to go this way. Let's go down below. I guess we can grab go if we really, really want to, but I want I want I want I don't want to die. I want to survive. I want to survive. We're in a tomb again. It's called Tomb Raider. Get it? Tomb Raider. Uh, I know that's one of the things a lot of people don't like about the newer Tomb Raider games is that there's not there's not as many tombs or puzzle tombs as as what? like in this version than the old games. But I mean, I don't care. I love this game so much. I mean, it's definitely one of my favorite games. I oh, from like last decade. Like it might be. I mean, this is probably one of my favorite trilogies oh. that I ever played. So I did say that. Also, there's a document right here I believe we can grab, too. Open that document! This traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. But if you guys don't know, there's documents we can just find throughout the whole map and everything. We got this weird thing. Also, you can see we can examine to find information. So we can, like, rotate it to find there that information. There are of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. But yeah, I can like just switch around to find stuff. You guys can just zoom in. <laughs> Look, that looks like it looks like I can see like a face cut. That's funny. Thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know. No, there's too many words, so there probably won't be a thumb. There probably won't be a thumbnail. 
<laughs> oh, it's making a joke. Done now! <laughs> oh, yeah, we can find that and all. That's pretty cool. Oh, no. Also, we can find our axe over here. Look at that. Ugh. Deep in there. Deep in the, in the, probably like a heart or something like that. That was stuck in. Looks like a heart. <laughs> a heart. Thump, 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 thump. Well, I should know if that was a heart or not, but it was in some part of meat. Probably in, probably in a deer, I bet. <laughs> probably in deer. Probably a bunch of deer. Also, we can, like, you know, open now, open this thing up, this door up. And crack it open the axe. BAM! We were in the water, we in the misty water again! God, some of the clothes shop to Laura is sexy. <laughs> what is that? Is that a dog right there? A wolf? Interesting. We climb up. Up here, okay. We made it around! We make it around town! In this, 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 this! <laughs> Spongebob weapons. <laughs> uh, There's always gonna be a thing where I wipe with Spongebob all the time. Bam! I can hear Sam! Did you get that? Got it! We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it! Sam! Oh, um, thank goodness. Surprise! Oh it's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. Fuck you! A teacher <laughs> by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Yo, I can tell that he's a bad guy anyway. Anyway. Right, Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <laughs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful. Enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses. Me. Well, there's always some truth to myths. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched. From the mountains, to the sea, and the <sighs> But what happened to you? Sam? Matthias? Oh god. Sam's Sam? with the middle-aged man? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> oh jeez. Shit! Just the thing about that though, it's just crazy though. Oh god! <laughs> Gotta hurt. Gotta hurt. No. Oh, my buddies. Where are you, wolves? You might be my high school mascot, but I'm gonna take kill, kill you anyway. <laughs> By the way, when I was in high school, wolves were my high school mascot. So that's why I was vicious. Oh, hey! Oh shit! <laughs> oh god. This, this, this gives me PTSD. Wow! This way. 
Where are they coming out? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I got ya. Ooh, give me exhaust some anxiety. We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Lara and meet up with Raw. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no. Le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Raw. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. <laughs> You gonna be okay? Yes, I probably just need to rest for a few minutes. You sit, uh, you sit here. I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. Alright, catch up with Whitman. Not so, so if I just need to ignite. Is there a fire out here? Well, there's a document. Ooh. I can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. Ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. I never really gave it much thought that any of this could actually be real history. My grandmother used to tell me the story like it was a memory. Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. The sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But one day, Yamatai simply disappeared without a trace. Forgotten in time. Forgotten in time. Erased from existence. <laughs> uh, back to the future reference right there but i think this might be a good stopping point i know this kind of been a shorter episode but i think that would be quite a bit of story i wish oh actually before we end this off i'm gonna get some uh i'm gonna get some of this little thing i'm gonna burn this to the ground real quick and grab some of these get some more savage stuff bam savage collect savage upgrade weapons at the camp oh yeah we made it upgrade but yeah we can upgrade our weapons too and everything what? This is Lara Croft, an archaeologist from the Endurance, shipwrecked on an island in the Dragon's Triangle, east of Japan. This place is incredible. I've seen wrecks here that could date back centuries. We weren't the first, and I know one of them alone. Something isn't right about this place. If I don't get off this island, maybe someone will eventually find this. But yeah, this is the base camp, like I said. We can upgrade our skills and weapons and all that. That's where the skills are. Uh, the other two the options are unavailable. I think one one of them is the, what's it, map, different base and camps where you can, like, once you find other base camps, you can, like, teleport to them, which is pretty cool. I know you can't teleport to all the base camps that you find, but majority of them you can. Like, I believe this one you can, but it's like right now it's all unavailable. We're in the forest wounds. The other one, I think the other one is where just, it's just outfits that can, Laura can wear. We can, they're not, I think in this game they're just more just, in this game they're kind of just more outfit, regular outfits where, I mean, why, and I think Wise and Tomb Raider, they have, I think Wise and Tomb Raider definitely have better outfits. Part of the best outfits are in Wise of the Tomb Raider, but also in Wise of the Tomb Raider they have like different features that they can do and all of that, that actually make us help. In this game I think they're just there for fashion purposes. But I think, I know this kind of been a short episode, but anyway, anyway, I've been Green Covers Gaming. In the next episode, we're going to find go with Whitman. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.